A lot of people did in the house are doing, as you know, the teacher did make a statement today, and it was a brilliant statement. I just moved the camera there. And I'm just appealing. We in our local community have set up a, uh, a scheme to help up older people with shopping and different things, whatever they need. And um, the football club, Bullets Ridge GA, have done it. And also in Calvin Town, have the Calvin Teddy Towns are doing their part. And, you know, obviously, hand in heart, huge, huge respect to them people. Um, and obviously, I'm doing a bit. I'm doing as much as I can. From what you know, because I'm very, very busy, but you know, envelopes and this, that, you know, like honest to God, um, just huge amount of stress put on everybody, and at this call to stress for time, I'm asking communities to come together, to help your elderly out, and I'm appealing to young people, please help out your older citizens. You know, even if it's you, know, do the most simple thing, try and do it as much as you can. Bring food to the door. If you know they live on their own, do as much as you can. I'm appealing to young people to do that. And you know, the people in the general community, you know, try in your best to help as many people as you can because we all need to help each other out in this time. Nobody stands alone. Nobody will be left alone. Everybody's united. Everybody has one cause to defeat this virus, no matter the cost to our economy. And I'm saying to people, it may take a long time before this virus is gone. I might as well be honest. But we have to walk together. We have to be strong. And people will look back in a few years time and say, Ireland faced this toughest challenge in decades. And we got through it. We got through it. But the only way it's going to work if people help their elderly citizens out and people with special needs and um, intellectual disabilities or anything like that. Um, we all need to help each other. And especially, you know, the young people and everything. We have to get to, you know, if the cat, if the older people live on their own, you know, don't have a cow or anything like that, you know, go down the road, pop down, get a bit of a shopping, you know, and bring it to their door. You know, they take the world of that. And, you know, we are helping the community out. Um, because obviously the elderly people, we have to protect them, as the Taoiseach said today. We have to protect them, matter the cost. And I'm saying to people, it will be a huge cost on our economy. But to help with the economy and to, help, to save people's lives is water. I'm saying to people, you know, do your best with what you have to help your elderly citizens out around the country. We're doing our best in our local community to do our best. We're going way above the call of duty. And that's what's necessary this time, to go above the call of duty. Because in the end, we are here as a community. We are a community. We grew up together. We stand together. In times of crisis, in times of grief, we were together to help each other out. And we will be together to get through this. And I'm saying to people, as a person from Butler's Bridge who's in the community, and any communities around Ireland, please, 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 set up a fund. Sort, you know, sort your elderly people out who, who are vulnerable and help them out. Help them out and help the state out. Thank you very much.